of the Fort Worth Concept House, uh, located only minutes from downtown Fort Worth, as a matter of fact. It just opened up last week, and I decided to do a video, give it a little history of what this building is. First of all, it's 25,000 square feet. It was a meat factory uh, where they processed pigs, actually. Pork, I guess. And then it was a morgue for a while. And then I got a hold of it, okay? And I made it into a full-blown haunted house. And that's what it is right now. But I have owned and still own to this day a junk removal service that I have had for over 17 years. So for 17 years, I ran a junk removal service, a very successful one called Junk Guys DFW. Junk Guys Frisco, Junk Guys Alito, Junk Guys Arlington. We're located across the US. We also have locations in Austin, Houston, San Antonio, and stuff like that. About four years ago, I decided to open a haunted house. And that's exactly what I did. I opened a haunted house in Oak Cliff called the Dallas Junkyard Haunted House. A very, very successful haunted house. A haunted house that would back battle against any haunted house in the DFW area. A short and sweet $20 haunted house, which is now 25 bucks, but back then we charged that much. Why did I start a haunted house? Well, you know, I've always loved Halloween and me and a friend, George, who passed away actually this year, we had a great dream of an idea to open a haunted house and we did. And we made $500 the first time we ever opened it, but I decided to take it and make it bigger. As he followed his journey in life, I followed my journey in business. And in these are kind of some of the stuff that we pick up on a daily basis in Junk Removal. And I've made it a staple to my business to have unwanted goods and junk throughout the whole haunted house so this haunted house is filled with junk and unwanted goods that customers don't want for instance these video games those displays there let me walk you through one of the rooms back here pretty interesting room you know running a junk removal service and a haunted house i'll tell you what the difference is that i can handle a junk removal service but running a haunted house with 35 full-blown employees well that's a whole different gig right it's a whole different gig uh, this is the rock and roll room inside the haunted house this building's 25,000 square feet but this building wasn't like this when I first got it right guys it was it should have been torn down to be honest with you it had a, a huge hole in the wall and that's a trigger it senses when somebody's in the room and it goes off so it's pretty cool but this is the medical room inside the haunted house it's a cool medical room. We're just going to go down it as we walk through this maze of the haunted house. You know, I uh, started this journey of looking for a haunted house about eight months ago and I wanted it bigger. I wanted it better. The only thing I know is how to run a business. I never ran a haunted house and did not have any uh, previous, you know, expertise in this field but I knew how to manage people and I knew how to make business and I know how to make money I did know that so that's another trigger so opening this haunted house business wise was not a challenge but running it it has been a challenge I will tell you that it has been a challenge all the way from managing employees to building contraptions like this one it's all business and it's a lot of hard work so we're in section uh, three of the haunted house there's three four sections of this haunted house we're in section three right now and this is the closet that we have it's a long going hundred foot closet and people jump at you and you know you'll get your haunts and there's long hallways without any people kind of calm you out, down before the storm. You know, when I opened this business, I never thought what it would take to run a business like this. So I decided to bring on my brothers. So my brothers, my brother, David, my sister, Emily, and my older sister, Maribel, we all run the haunted houses. They run the one in Dallas, which is very successful. It's been there already. This will be its fifth year. And this one has only been here this year. And... We don't charge the big old $59.99 or $49 to come into the haunted house. We only charge $25. We're inside the Michael Myers room right now. So can you imagine Haddonfield? This is Michael Myers where he stays. As a matter of fact, his room is right over here. It's pretty cool. 
You know, every part of this haunted, this haunted house has my hands in it. It has my brother's hands in it. It has my family's blood in it because we worked hard to build this haunted house for the Fort Worth community, for this area. Even the area, which is a very blight warehouse, was full of homeless, crackheads. Well, we came in, we cleaned it up. And now a lot of people know that this is a full-blown business, so they don't come here around. They don't come around here that much anymore. It is pretty cool knowing. It is pretty cool knowing. You know, the city of Fort Worth has allowed me to build a business in a very bad area, in a very blight area town over here in the Fort Worth area. And I appreciate that because now we get to run 25,000. Guys, if you're looking to have a good time and you're looking to enjoy and have, uh, you know, maybe you're a family of four and, and you want to bring the kids and everybody with you. <laughs> You're welcome to because here a family four is going to cost you about a hundred bucks to come here. Uh, there's no pricing and parking. It's absolutely free. And the scares like that one and the one coming up right here, they will get you because we're pretty good at what we do. We have... <laughs> We have an experience in what we do. Uh, helping out a family. Oh, that's a long hallway. Uh, coming out here and enjoying and having a good time this weekend is something you won't forget, especially when you uh, help a nearby business, right? It's always good to do that. But running this and owning this, it's always an adventure when it comes to the employee. People call in, people are late, people don't want their positions, people, they want to act a different way and this whole business has been a long trip it's been a long journey but i'm learning i'm learning never owned a junk removal service until four years ago and now i have two uh, i'm sorry never owned a haunted house business and now i have two haunted house pretty cool it is pretty cool you know uh, last week was our opening weekend and we had these lines crowded, right? It was, there's people just lined up and it's cool to look at this and say, man, we did, we did for the Fort Worth area. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's nice to see an idea, a dream to come into fruition and actually help you make money and build your family and, and help your family move on in life. So guys, if you have a chance, come on down here and visit the Fort Worth Haunted House. If you're from the Dallas area, visit the Dallas location, Junkyard Haunted House, located at 2700 Sylvan Avenue. Now here in Fort Worth, we're located at 2423 Chester street we're only charging 25 dollars to come in have a great time this haunted house um stays open from 8 p.m to 12 a.m and here's the good part about it guys here's a good part about it okay that not only will you get to visit the fort worth or the dallas location we'll give you a discount if you go to both okay that's pretty cool we accept cash cash app and venmo there are no online sales we don't do that we want to make this process simple come to the front desk right here meet my wife and pay her and then come on in enjoy it i'm looking forward to seeing everybody this weekend um, and next weekend and, and you know helping out a small business is what should be done by everyone <laughs> you know uh, there's big old haunted houses or small haunted house and I'm one of the small really but um, ultimately junk removal is what got me. the junk removal business that I owned for 17 years got me here every scene inside this haunted house is made of junk or unwanted goods that customers didn't want all the way from the cones that are used here to the chain that holds a cone to the candy machine to the dumpsters that were here, even the car. Every part of this haunted house is made of junk. So you're looking forward to uh, seeing a business that is made of junk come down here to the Fort Worth Haunted House. I look forward to it. Have a great day.